There have been three studies finding blood flow restriction training produced preferential growth of slow twitch muscle fibers over fast twitch muscle fibers. Fast twitch muscle fibers have greater growth potential, and numerous studies indicate normal training results in more fast versus slow twitch fiber growth. And so some speculate that preferential slow twitch fiber growth by blood flow restriction training cannot be related to mechanical tension and might be due to some metabolic stress mechanism. But I'm very skeptical this is true. Two of the three studies involve blood flow restriction training with a very high training frequency. One involved blood flow restriction training for seven consecutive days, while the other involved training for five days in a week. The problem is central fatigue can be present days after training, especially when muscle damage is high. Despite previous speculations that blood flow restriction training produces minimal muscle damage, we now know there's research indicating performing reps to or near failure with blood flow restriction when you're unaccustomed to it, which applies to both two studies, produces substantial muscle damage. The issue of training while central fatigue is present is you have a lowered ability to recruit those fast twitch muscle fibers. Thus, the preferential growth of the slow twitch fibers in those two studies may not be because slow twitch fiber growth was enhanced via some metabolic stress related mechanism, rather it might be because fast twitch fiber growth was compromised due to training sessions being performed with central fatigue. What about that third study finding preferential slow twitch fiber growth with blood flow restriction training? It had untrained subjects train blood flow restriction with reps to failure three times per week for six weeks. Given the subjects were untrained, central fatigue may still have been present in a lot of their training sessions. So again, perhaps their findings reflect compromised fast twitch fiber growth. Furthermore, another 2021 Australian paper found that in well-trained individuals training a range of lower body exercises with blood flow restriction three times per week for nine weeks, preferential slow twitch muscle fiber growth did not occur.